All right, guys, and welcome to what will hopefully be a super massive game, literally by name. That's the developing or publishing studio. This is The Quarry. Now, you might want to leave the lights on, but welcome and thank you for joining me. As we delve into this hmm, potentially scary game, every decision I make will affect the story. Very much like Until Dawn, and I guess my decisions will have an impact on the lives of the characters in this game. Welcome, sit back, relax. Let's get this started. Okay, very, very good feature I've just activated is called Streamer Mode, where they replace the in-game licensed music tracks with licensed free versions. What a an amazing, amazing switch for a, for a gamer like me who records everything they ever play, sticks it up on YouTube. Thank you, thank you, 2K. What do we got? New game, we've got movie mode here. Watch from a selection of predefined outcomes. No way! Couch co-op. Oh, you can play with someone else. That's really cool. Oh, pass the controller and play with friends. Oh, I see. And I can link my 2K account, which I don't have. Anyway, let's just get in the flipping game and play. Yes, of course, starring David Arquette. Otherwise known as Dewey from Scream. And Courtney Cox's famous husband, of course. Is, but if, well, let's hope, let's hope anyway. Oh, hold on, shut up now. Why'd you kill the music? I think you know why. Um, I don't think I do. It begins with an L? Like the L word? Lesbians? Lost, Max, we're lost. We're just, we're in geographic flux. Right, so, lost. That's debatable. There you go. Safety tip number one. Quick time events. Right, I got you. I got you. I've got to keep my eyes on screen and my hands on the controller. As it will guide you through the various twists and turns that may appear during your stay at Hackett's Quarry. What you see here are quick time events, or QTEs, which will help you to act at just the right time. Oh. Watch your step. Hackett's Quarry can be a dangerous place if you're not paying attention to your surroundings. Take your eye off the ball, and it could spell disaster. <laughs> the path you tread is yours to choose, but that doesn't mean there won't be obstacles along the way. I was kind of... <laughs> oh, heads up. Okay. Why, why... Nice catch there, Han. I'm not the one who hit the pothole. What's what's well with maybe the, the up, hit us. The up arrow. Think about that? Wow, that is like Olympic level goalpost moving. Thank you. Very impressive. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, still totally lost. I'll tell you what, hold on a second, hold on a second. Oh look at this. Got a really amazing, amazing looking detail. I've just pressed the pause button and this is Laura. The reason is I wanted to See if I could... Okay, we've got settings here. I want to stick the subtitles on for you guys. Okay. Well, Laura, thanks for the... Uh, thanks for the close-up. You know what, Max? It's okay. It doesn't make you any less of a man. You know, if Columbus hadn't gotten lost and landed on these golden shores, there would be no United States of America. Goodbye, hot dogs. See you later, apple pie. Columbus never actually landed in North America. What are you talking about? Didn't even know he wasn't in Asia. Are you serious? Just another guy who didn't want to admit he was lost. Well, just another guy who's got a whole day named after him, so put that in your pipe and smoke it. Oh my god. Okay, just get us to camp already before I roll my eyes out of my head, please. <laughs> I'm working on it. I'm working on it. It's very true. He thought he was he thought he was finding India from the traveling west. He thought he could circumvent the world and find a new route to India. What have I gotta do? Pick leaflet or pick map, which is why he called. Uh, voila! What is that? The Native Americans. Yeah, Indians. yeah. No, but seriously, how what happened to the, the normal map? This is the normal map. The one on the phone. No bars. Of course not. Okay, let's see. So we are... 
Well, I guess they don't put summer camps on maps. Have you seen any signs for it? What's he looking at? Hey, eyes on the road. Whoa. Whoa, did you see he was in the back seat? Oh, hang on, what's this blood and directional thing? I don't know, I'm moving the controller because I think I've got to throw the controller to the right hand side, but... Are you okay? Yeah, yeah. I mean, still in one piece. Jesus Christ, what do you think that was? A bear? What? No, no, Max, it wasn't a bear. What was it? I think it was a person. Oh, are you serious? Do you think we hit a person? I don't know. I mean, it was really cl close, like really close, but maybe we didn't. What is it? Oh, God. I really have this car up. Well, maybe it looks worse than it is. Uh, I should check out the damage before we try to start it up again, huh? Could you grab my, uh, the, the toolbox from the trunk? Yeah, yeah, okay. <gasps> oh, no! They're out of sight of each other! Something bad's about to happen! Oh, God, this is, this is one of those games. I'm already tense. Oh. I love it though. Right, use L to walk. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. Yes. Okay, so she said, he said, go get something from the trunk. Right, we're at the trunk, I think. Tutorial unlocked. Interrupt. Press L1 to view. What's this? Interrupt. Safety tip number two. At certain times throughout the night, opportunities will present themselves, giving you the chance to take matters into your own hands. It is worth noting that they are only suggestions. You don't have to act upon them. <laughs> in fact, sometimes it's better not to. Oh, well, there's no fun in that, is there? Okay, so there are prompts to try something different. I see. Okay, Snoop. What does Snoop... Snoop? Yeah, go on then. Mr. Brinley, thank you for your interest in Landis University. We're delighted to have an influx. Oh! Why didn't you tell me? He didn't get in. Oh. Is that one of those things where I shouldn't yeah. have snooped? Do you need a hand? Yeah, actually, if you could just shine a light right here. Here you go. Perfect, thank you. The sooner we get out of here, the better. Just picture yourself curling up in front of a big old fire pit singing campfire sing-alongs. I don't think people curl up right in front of big old fire pits. Why not? Uh, they don't want to catch on fire. And then, picture yourself curling up in front of a big old space. Oh, they're being watched from the forest. Well, anywhere's better than here. He's out to walk. Okay, do we, do we? Should we just walk into the forest and get murdered? Yes, let's do that. <gasps> Did that say Silas at the bottom of the screen? Is the, Did the old lady speak? She saw that, going? right? Just over here. Just stay there for a second, okay? I'm almost done. Defiant, are you my boss or hurry up? Yeah, let's go with hurry up. Max, hurry up! What's going on? I'm worried that there's somebody down there. Are you serious? Yeah, I, they could be hurt. I don't know. I didn't think we actually hit anyone. Well, I don't know. I just, I heard something, okay? Like a, a woman. Do you think we hit her? I just want to check it out. Okay. All right. Just don't go too far, okay? Be careful. Yeah. yeah. 
So Max has gone for the classic mullet cut, I think. A little bit too much growth at the back there. Okay. Luck with the car. I think you've just walked into your own grave. Okay. This is interesting. So it's a sort of a three-dimensional game, but obviously very, very linearly constructed. What do we have here? The Harem Scarum Sideshow Spectacular. Oh. We've got a clue. A clue Scarum... Okay, so we can view clues. What does it say? This is a poster for a travelling sideshow. It looks like it's been here a while. Left forgotten in the woods. Are those burn marks around the edges? Hmm. This is Scooby-Doo stuff, isn't it? What's that big black gelatinous blob? Oh, I can move the torch up and down. I got it, I got it. What is that thing? Okay, well, we'll just ignore that then. Did you hear that? But it stands to reason, you know, when you've seen a scary old woman in the forest, the first thing you want to do is start wandering around the forest. Alone. That was a left or right choice there. I've gone opposite to my instincts, but anyway. Ooh, kinky. And, oh, sorry, yes, an escapology trunk. What do we do with this? A trunk filled with strange devices. No, those are handcuffs. That of an escapologist, perhaps a relic of a traveling show that must have passed through the area. Right, get it. So there was a some kind of circus or freak show, a harem scarum. That we'll have to uh, remember. What's that? Why, why, does it, why close in on her face there? <gasps> oh, I got chills. I've got my the hairs on my arms have just stood up. Silas, Silas, who the hell is Silas? Funny, I mentioned heroes earlier. Those of you that know the. Can she hear it, or is it just us? So what's the betting? She's going to be the one that gets killed. Or Max the mullet. I saw it. Where are you? Silence. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's brown trousers time. Oh, down. Oh, what is this bloody timing thing? I'm, I'm pressing the circle button, but I don't know. I'm premature. Doesn't usually happen. Try it again. She tripped over that as well. My god, this girl. I realize it's my fault. I can't get the hang of this timing. Hey, 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 hey,
Not to me, all right? Jesus Christ, you're all banged up. No, no, there is something out there. Like, uh, there's noises oh, honey, it's everywhere. Okay. Just take a few breaths. Just breathe. Just breathe. It's okay. It's the woods. There's a lot of stuff out there. No. It's easy to freak yourself out. Listen, Especially that's... if you're hurt. Can we just get out of here, please? Of course, yeah. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Yes, there we go. Purring like a kid. Max, come on! Here we go, here we go. We're getting out of here. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Max! I just, okay, give me a minute. Give me a minute. We've got to go, you Max! Why? You're not helping right now. Can you just, I am trying to get us out of here. All right, just... enough! Shit, I'm sorry, honey. I'm sorry. It's okay, it's okay. Man, the face capture's really good. We're okay. We're safe in the car, really. We're gonna be okay. Jeez. Oh! Oh! <gasps> oh my God! My heart just exploded. Roll it down. Oh, thank God for that. It's the law. Sir, how are you doing this evening? Are either of you injured? No. Uh, well, she bumped her head. Well, barely, barely bumped it. I mean, I can, I can't even feel it. My bump, not my head. I'm fine. <laughs> really, we're fine. We're just a little shaken up. Mm -hmm. I know he's the law, but he looks sinister, doesn't he? He looks scary as hell. What's he doing? Well, you folks want to tell me what happened here? Uh, she took her unlock path, path chosen. I'm sorry, I've got to keep interrupting. I need to learn these things. Hackett's quarry is full of twists and turns, unknown paths and unexplored wonders. With each step taken, you tread a path of your own, matched with its very own consequences. There will be moments throughout your stay that show you that the choices you've made, the path you've chosen, could have gone another way. At Hackett's quarry, there's no such thing as the wrong way. But be warned, some paths are more dangerous than others. Okay, be ev evasive, we swerved off, something jumped out. Uh, let's, why, what's wrong with saying something jumped out? That's possibly true. Look at the, ski the skin detail, and most importantly, the eye gloss. That's really, really good. I hope it comes across well in the video. We, um... Uh, something jumped out right in front of the car and we didn't want to hit it, so we swerved and... You know, here we are. Something jumped out? <laughs> That's such a scary close-up. Uh, an animal or honest it was dark? Yeah, it was dark. We didn't see. We didn't see. Uh, I'm sorry, it was, it was so dark and it happened so fast and they were gone. They? Ma'am, did you hit someone? No, no, God, no, of course not. You know, I mean, I don't think so. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> so convincing. Keep the car running. Sir? Cop seems anxious. All right, well, I feel like we got close this to the truth there. That could be a good thing. Scariest cop. I don't know. This is my first cop. What, like ever? Uh, yeah, I'm not a criminal. Great, oh, great, we get some help. <sighs> now, I feel that cop knows a lot more about what's going on here. Now, you folks want to tell me just what in the hell you are doing all the way out here this late at night? Free country, we can be where we want. Oh no, we're heading to camp. Oh, we're taking in the sides. Yes, say we're heading to camp. Don't be dismissive. It's the police. They we're heading up to Hackett Court Summer Camp. We're new counselors. You're one night early. No, no, we know. Um, but we figured we'd get in early and scope it out. You know, I mean, they know we're coming. We called ahead. And to be honest, sir, one of us kind of oversold their navigation skills and got us completely lost. <sighs> yeah. 
You're not gonna make it to Hackett's quarry. Not tonight. Harbinger Motel. It's the nearest place you can bunk up there for the night. Why is that blood on his neck? Uh, I think we're just gonna stick to the plan, sir. I mean, Mr. Hackett knows we're coming and we called ahead. No, ma'am, you're gonna head to the Harbinger Motel. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Uh, insist why not hack its quarry or we'll head no I'm gonna ins I'm gonna be insistent he's got blood on his neck this is this is freaky I'm, I'm gonna be rude with all due respect sir why can't we go to hack its quarry because I told you to go to the motel all right Norman Bates okay I just don't understand what the problem ma'am please step out of the vehicle Whoa. what why? officer she didn't do anything ma'am if you wouldn't mind stepping out of the vehicle she disrespected like the law show you a route on your map there <laughs> uh, okay. I'm sure that was gonna happen anyway. Okay. Okay. So we. Right about here, Harbinger Motel is here. Right, okay, and where was Hackett's quarry again? <laughs> well, I'm sure the fine folks at the Harbinger Motel can guide you there first thing in the morning. What? What? Still, please. Yes, yeah, you see? What are you doing? Blood. Hold. Still. Do what? Do what? No, I'm gonna stay still. Hold on. I don't know what he's doing, but I'll keep still. Okay, this is this is creepy. There. Fresh as a daisy. You can return to your vehicle, ma'am. God, I think it'd have licked my face if he had the chance. Harbinger Motel. Stay on the road. Wait, but, but what if there's someone out there? Yeah, I'll have a look. Good night. If there's someone out there on the road, just run them over this time. I don't trust anybody around here. So, fake cop car, real cop car. Owner of the motel? Adjoining rooms? Probably. Why is this guy just sitting there? Thanks for all your help. The guy was weird. Oh, don't be annoyed. I don't know. We should explore her bitchiness. Let's try this. Thanks for all your help, though. Back there. What is that supposed to mean? Yeah. You were shaking like a broken washing machine. I could have used a little backup. I mean, he clearly likes you better. Well, I'm... Very likable. <laughs> I think it's the haircut, right. Max. Let's get back on the road. Yes. I think I've had enough woodland encounters for one night. Thank you very much. I agree. So where's this motel? Okay, so we're here, mm -hmm. and the motel is here. Okay. But we're going here. What's there? Hackett's quarry. How'd you do that? I don't know. I kind of tricked him into showing. Me. <laughs> very slick. Are you sure we shouldn't just get to the motel and just listen to this guy's advice? Honey, you really want to listen to the advice of some creep-ass cop who told us in the middle of the creep-ass woods to go to some creep-ass hotel? No, that sounds terrible. Yeah. Let's hit the road, shall we? That's what I thought. Ma'am? Oh my god! If he called me ma'am one more time, I was gonna shove that badge up his dick hole. <laughs> Seriously, do I look like a ma'am to you? 
I got like 20 years before I'm a man. Mm hmm. Oh, this is what? a bad idea. 20 is debatable. Easy. I mean, I'm kind of into maps. Okay, we're done here. <laughs> well, interesting setup. Lost in the middle of the night. A bit like uh, I know what you did last summer, the intro there. Except nobody got killed that we know of. Here we are, Hackett's Quarry, Summer Camp, June the 25th. You gotta be kidding me, there's nobody here. We drive all the way the fuck out Max, here. Max, can we just look around before we jump to conclusions? Did you actually even talk to Mr. Hackett or did you just leave a message? Well, what's the difference? This, this is the difference. Hello? I guess he doesn't check his voicemail. How was I supposed to know that? I mean, Clearly there's somebody here. Yeah, or it's just an abandoned car and this is a complete waste Why of time. Why would there be an abandoned... I'll get yeah. the car. Max, come on. Max, don't be a dick. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's all right. Just sleep in the car for the night then. Okay, so we have... Heck, it's quiet. We're going to try the door again. Is anybody home? Can't wait to see this world in the daylight. But I have a feeling that a lot of this game is going to be... ...in the dark. You might want to turn your lights off, close your curtains if you're watching this. There's always a back door. Can't see anything. Right, is there's no way around there. Honestly, I can't tell what I'm looking at here. Head back around the left hand side, maybe. Okay, there's a light on. Somebody's in. We just break in. Oh, I can't see where it. Seriously, I have not a clue what I'm doing here. I know that much is obvious, but I can't see a damn thing. What is that? Okay, we can see a table. Okay, there's no one here. Let's just go to the car. Okay, this is better. At least we've got some light down here. Ah, oh, there's an item on the ground. So have a little snoop snoop. Tree walk, fire pit. Oh, there's a tree house. Okay. Boat house. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. <laughs> what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Great. Lord, there's no one here. Come on. Just give me one more minute, okay? Let's not put that theory to the test. I don't really want to get any stronger. If there's even a chance, it might kill me. Okay. Something. New cutscene triggered. What's that? Hey! Hey, are you okay? I couldn't even make out what that shape was. I'll be right back. I'm gonna get some help. so we can break the law. Hey, I'm back. We're gonna get you out of there. 
Hey. hey. Wait, what, what are these? I don't know. You just said tools. Why didn't you just bring... Look, there's someone in there. Uh, I'm not seeing anyone. Wait, no, look. I'm looking. I am. Let me see. God. I feel like someone's getting a knife there, through the there's eyeball. There's definitely someone there. Okay. Okay. So. Wrenches or the hammer? Definitely the wrenches. You can. Oh no, it's only one though. If you had two, you could snap the lock easily. Um. What did the game want to do? All right, let's try and smash the metal. Hammer time. You sure? It's going to be super loud. I don't think that matters. Yeah, someone's trapped. Let's do so, it. So someone's trapped. don't think something that's been locked in there should be let out. You crazy, stupid fools. Oh, great. We're going in. Why? Why? I don't need to see this. You've seen the evil dad, right? Hello? Are you hurt? Do you exist? Do you exist? <laughs> you mugged you off there, Laura. Hey, be careful. Oh, great. You're just gonna sit on your ass while Laura does all the searching. <gasps> Ian! Or did we see that in reverse? On the other side, it would say, Nay. Alright, don't break the mirror. Don't need any bad luck. Okay, come on, there's nothing down that side. What was that thing? It had blood on it as well, right? Yep, of course it does. A bloodied collar. The bloody collar looks too big for a dog. What kind of dog would be called? Ian, anyway. Maybe this is a sex dungeon. I don't think that's what this is. Oh my god. Max? I think Max is dead. <sighs> this is like Reservoir Dogs. Not Reservoir Dogs. Pulp Fiction. This is where they keep the gimp. Maybe it was a possum or something. Okay, no, right. there was there was someone here, I swear. Hey. It's been kind of a night, you know? Let's just get to the motel. We can come back here first thing in the morning. We can check everything out, but I mean you must be exhausted. I know I am. I think our imagination. <gasps> Max! Oh god. Yep. Oh my god, what's happened to his ear? Help. I think I'm bleeding a lot. What the hell happened? Help Max or leave him? Oh no, we should we should help. We should help. But that's probably stupid. We can't leave him alone. Our path has been chosen.
Oh, I bloody knew it. Does this look like the goddamn Harbinger Motel to you? <laughs> Right, Max is gone. Every or, or, was he shooting the thing that was down there? Wow, that's one hell of a supermoon. And welcome to the quarry. Simply the prologue. We'll play on for a little bit longer, though. Nice start. Nice start. Now, is that little prologue going to be part of the main story. Are we going to have to remember what happened here? As they introduce new characters and the story evolves. So remember what happened here. It may become very important. Hello, my friend. Welcome to the show. We are friends, aren't we? Well, I don't know yet. I've waited for you. I've waited. Yes. So I do hope our time together proves enlightening. There's no need to worry. I'm here to help you. Think of me as your guide into the unknown. It's exciting, yes, and terrifying. <laughs> but if you're brave enough, if you let me help you, I can help you. We can help each other. You didn't find anything, and so I've nothing to show you. You need to look harder. The cards are out there. If you don't help me, how can I help you? We're supposed to be friends. You said so yourself. Search harder. Only you can find them. Find the cards? There are secrets out there, you know. Secrets and lies. Paths to uncover on which I can shed light, if you let me. Help me help you. And remember, what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. <laughs> okay, so what was that? Was that a moment where I was supposed to hand over, like, a card or something, a collectible that I found in the game, and she was going to tell me more about it? I see. So we've got to be on the lookout for those. All right. All right. I missed one. Chapter one. Well, it's a, a, little, a, a little bit of a brighter feeling. After the darkness of the prologue, let's, let's, let's have some daylight in this episode. <laughs> We're going to carry on for a little bit. hearts are broken on the last day of summer camp it's like a romance apocalypse oh cynical or reflective i don't know what kind of guy this is uh this, i don't know reflective who cares i mean you never know the universe has a kind of way of uh working these things out the universe yeah like the uh, the cosmic space gods space gods you heard me okay spell it Nothing to spell, you know, we're cool. Oh, so cool. We are super cool. So she dumped her ass, huh? <laughs> okay, quit it. 
Hi, Emma. Hey. <laughs> okay, this is, um... You've heard of spatial awareness before, yeah. right? Spatial awareness is for nerds. Uh, be a lamb and grab the last couple of bags, will you? Yes, boss. Say hi to Emma for me. You're a bad person. Yes, I am. Interesting. Is the, now this is the the this is the kicker. Is this before or after what happened in the prologue, in the timeline? I realise in the real in the real time line, it's definitely after, unless I'm having some kind of spiritual experience. What's up, dude? What are you doing all uh, maudlin at the back here? <clears throat> hey, what do you uh, what do you listen to? Good to know. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. What about this? Has it has it got the padlock on it? No padlock. Very interesting. So, have these guys arrived here after Max and Laura? That is that the same truck we saw before? It's hard to tell. It was all dark. I have no idea. Jake, bags, focus. Oh, where am I supposed to? Get? I did. I wasn't paying any attention. That's probably uh, my bad. I'm. I'm gonna have to start listening to things. Oh, hold on. What's this? Okay, all right, same map. What doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Yes. So who's that old lady doesn't anyway? Kill you will make you stronger. Not in the mood, sign. Okay. All right. All right. Sorry for the uh, slow walking sim. I I I wasn't listening. Bags, she said. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Hey, are you guys gonna help with the bags or what? Oh, um, you know, I was actually just working on fixing uh, the door. It's Dylan, come it's on, broken. Dylan, please. I can't. It's, it's, <laughs> I gotta get the last bags What's in there. Come wrong on. with this thing? It's just Dylan. Please. Sorry, bro. <sighs> cool. Thanks, guys. <sighs> Dipshit's bolted it. Really? Okay, uh, I need something interesting to happen now. So why can why would why would you waste a journey from the car to the door without carrying a bag? They locked me out. Who? Who do you think? Ugh, we'll find another way in. Use your big boy brain. I don't I don't appreciate what's being done to me. I feel like I'm being bullied from all angles. Find another way in. Ah. Should we try the cellar? <laughs> oh, come on, game. Get a move on. Well, that was definitely that was definitely an option. Hello. That's fucking rad. Uh, Whatever, man. Great. Okay, so we've got Mr. Moody in under the under the under the house. Oh, you're so goddamn slow, man. Come on. Right. We had a window over here. There was another one around the other side, yep. Laura was very helpful exploring earlier on. General store. Okay. Oh, we're not getting in that way. We're going to have a really slow walk around the side of the building. I mean, we'll take in some of the the views while we're here. If you weren't aware, I'm playing on the PS5. So the graphics are excellent. Skill. Did he just say skill? 
Yes, yeah, skills, man. I got through the window. Well done. Ugh. Horror. I hate horror. Well, I think you're gonna be experiencing a lot more of it. Oh, wow. What a place. This is awesome. Okay, should we go open the main door then? Like, uh, no one does the washing up around here. I can't open the door myself. Let's have a little word with this young hobbit. Okay, really, dude? Locking me out? Okay, in my defense, A, it was Dylan's idea, and two, it was really funny. Oh, yeah, right. Is that is that right? I don't write the rules, man. Okay, whatever. Look, are you going to help me with the bags or what? Nah, I gotta stay here and wait for Mr. H to return our cell phone, sorry. Jesus Christ. Okay, and why are the stairs blocked? Well, apparently it's to keep raccoons and other pesky varmints from ransacking the place. Uh, Mr. H's words, not mine. Oh! Boring! <laughs> alright, alright, that was funny. The reaction, I mean, not the joke. Is that you, Dylan? I can only deal with one shit at a time, Jacob. Okay, pretty much, pretty much information there. We didn't really need to know. Right, seriously, seriously, just go. You could have got all the bags in here yourself by now, you lazy ass. Just do it. You're not going to get any help. Stop asking. Just go outside. All right, we ain't going upstairs either. Oh, hang on, what's this? Bags. <clears throat> What's the deal? I thought we had to get the bags from the car into the house. Or are we at the end of the trip? Oh my god, have I completely misunderstood? We're packing the car to leave. Alright. Got the bags. Great. All by yourself, huh? Yep. Guess you're gonna have to get used to that. Oh my god. You are so mean. <laughs> At least I'm honest. She's oh. mean. I hope she goes okay, first. here we go. Okay, you're not telling me the whole truth about you and Emma, are you, son? Uh, well, I have no idea what truth or not I've got to tell you or hide from you. Um, what, a, what, a, what about, yeah, what about you? Oh, okay. So now I'm the one who's not telling the whole story, huh? <laughs> oh, well, this is the bait I just gotta take, Jake. Oh. oh, sorry, I just got so distracted about that rhyme, I forgot what we oh, were... Oh, no, 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 uh, you, you were telling me how you totally have a thing for Ryan. Wait, are we talking about Ryan, the sailing instructor with the sexy brooding loner thing that totally doesn't do anything for me at all? Uh, sexy or sm what? Mischievous or smug? Well, let's, let's be playful. Ah, oh, sexy, huh? How does that camp by far? Okay, sure. Uh, look, it was all settled by the girls in bunk seven, like, second day of camp. It goes Ryan, me of course, then Dylan, Emma, Abby, Okay. Nick, and then Mr. H, and... Okay, are you almost finished? Please? Yep, that's it. That's everyone. So she really just dumped her ass, huh? I don't... Okay. Her whole thing is like, how are we gonna make this work? Different schools, blah, blah, blah. My whole thing is like, you know... Maybe long distance, blah, 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 blah. And she was just like, Jacob. She gave you the look, huh? Yeah, do not pass go. Man, she has got you wrapped all the way around that dainty little finger of hers. How does she do it? Defeated. Maybe I like it or it's just a fling. Yeah, go and be brave, man. Be brave. Oh, but I mean, seriously, come on. She's right. It's just like a stupid summer fling. What else did I think was going to happen? Let's see. Uh, love, stability, engagement, marriage, house, kid, affair, kid, divorce, loneliness, child support, visitation lawsuit, mm. surprise reconciliation, emptiness, retirement, grandkid, 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 
a nursing home and finally dying in each other's arms and then being buried in each other's arms like those thousand year old skeletons they dug up in Rome or something. That kind of in the ballpark? Oh shit, I'm sorry. That I was feel like my whole life has flashed uh, before my eyes. See. Ah, here it is. Yours just says Roadhead. Oh, actually, that's just a generic all men list. Oh, that seems legit. <laughs> Okay, okay, really so don't like are that you girl. Sure that this old rust bucket's roadworthy? <laughs> we'll take a look. It better be. One more night in the great outdoors might actually kill me. Hey, what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Well, I haven't killed you yet. And you're still pretty pathetic. Hey, shut up. <clears throat> uh, okay, so, um,. Total hypothetical, but if I was like a huge asshole and I wanted to break down the van so we'd have to spend another night here, uh, what exactly would I need to do? Well, you'd probably break the fuel line or, I don't know, rip out the rotor arm. And yes, that would make you a total asshole. Okay, and what does a rotor arm look like again? It's like an arm that's all rotary. You know, it's under the little black dome with the leads poking out. Jake. You do realize that even if we somehow did get stuck out here, one more night with Emma wouldn't make a difference. Trust me, Chick's made up her mind. Yeah. Sure. Guess we'll just have to find out. <sighs> oh, is that the plan? Steal the right? Okay. I mean, why would you? Oh, God. Why would you ask how to if we wanted to? Uh, Oh, sure, I'm irritated. I'm irritated. Steal the rope. Oh, who cares? Do that. At least we can put it back in. If you break the fuel line, we can't put the fuel back in. I mean, it's a bit obvious, isn't it? When when they when they collectively find out the car doesn't start, she might remember you asking that, buddy. Up here, my dudes. Why did they look like they're up to something? Hey, Jacob. What? No, dude, please. D d d Go long. Oh, Nick. Why is everyone? Oh, I. Oh, come on, man. I didn't time that one right I'm either. I'm so sorry, Jacob. Uh, I'm not surprised. Hey, maybe uh, you should have put it in airplane mode. <laughs> I'm waiting till the circles. Close in on the button, and I'm pressing the button when the circles get there. I'm clearly getting that wrong. What's up, man? I think Shut everyone's going to die oh, because yeah, I can't no, figure no, this no, out. No, no, no. God damn, my mom's going to kill me. Your mom? Oh yeah, to, uh, to tell her I say hi. <laughs> I'll pay to fix it as soon as we're back, man. Well, it's bricked. Crap. Oh, thank God. Huh? Not a peep. Either got zero signal. Or everybody's already forgotten I exist. Nah, 50, you know what? 50. Whatever. I can go one more day without a phone. Why is day? everyone such a far. dick in this game? You know what I mean. Where's everybody else? Why? Why would I know that? Mm -hmm. Sometimes you know stuff I don't. Look, I don't. I don't even know how to respond to that. You say, Nick, you're way smarter than me, and you're a super hot stud who gets any chick he wants. Okay. Yeah. Keep dreaming, Junior. <laughs> right. And there's nobody I like in this so far. None of the characters have any redeemable qualities at all. I'm hoping we'll finally get behind somebody. Somebody's got to be decent. August the 22nd. Abigail, come and rescue us. Hey there, party bear. Status report? We are officially empty nesters. High five up top. Oh, too slow. Really? Oh boy. I can't You're even get a high five right. Let's go collect our bags and away from this mosquito infested backwoods dump. Doors locked, bags inside. Now I've just, Fuck I've, oh, uh, do you know, it's just clicked. It's just click. I, well, I know what I gotta do. It's obvious what we have to do here. Find someone with a key. Shape our destiny. 
and by shape our destiny, I mean shape our way through this crappy lock and grab our bags. I know what I know what I've been doing wrong. I know what I've been doing wrong. I think I understand, and I'm gonna. It's, it's really dumb. It's really dumb. <laughs> Uh, if I'm right, I'll get it right the next time. Uh, leave the bags or break in. Oh, fuck it, let's break in. Okay, let's do it. We better not get in trouble. I won't tell if you won't tell. Mr. Hackett's gonna find out. So what? He'll just think it was a bear or something. Have you ever seen a bear in these woods? No, but that doesn't mean they're not out there. Fair point. All right, let's do this. On three. One, two, three. Uh, mm. All about the power of positive thinking. Why do I ever listen to you? Because I'm always right. My right. Are you sure they're gonna think it was a bear? Oh my God, relax. It's not like we killed someone. All right, well, there's I'm still just time. Take another look around. Make sure we didn't miss anything. Go nuts. Okay, so poor old Max. Poor old Max. Room, room number 10, right. Make sure we didn't miss anything. Come on, Abigail, you're our saviour here. Freak show. Uh -huh. Now, this was August. Wasn't the previous date June? The news. Okay, newspaper headline, uh, which I need to read. Show the text. Oh, freak show goes up in flames. Dozens killed in fire at the travelling show. Ah, interesting. Last night in Hackett Woods... The widely anticipated harem scarum ended in tragedy as a blaze ripped through the show's attractions, burning the entire site to the ground in a matter of minutes. Though firefighters were eventually able to contain the flames, it is thought that dozens perished. There has been no official statement on the confirmed death toll yet. However, we can reveal that one of the deceased is known as Sheriff Hank Miller of North Kill. North Kill. Why would you name a town like that? The cause of the fire is still unknown. However, the North Kill Police Department released a statement earlier today in indicating that the preliminary investigation showed no signs of arson. This looks like it was nothing but a tragic accident. It's no secret how quickly fires can go up in dry wooded areas and, th and though Harem Scarum followed all the correct safety procedures, sometimes acts of God like this are sadly unavoidable. Our thoughts go out to Hank's family and to all who lost their lives in this tragic turn of events. When questioned on how the Hackett family have reacted to the news of the fire, being the proprietors of the land on which it occurred, authorities declined to comment. Our priorities right now are to ensure nothing like this ever happens again. The bodies of all those who perished are identified and their next of kin have been informed. Members of the public are being asked to avoid the area while the investigation concludes and are also reminded that Hackett Woods are private property, known to be licensed grounds during hunting season. A candlelight vigil will be held in Town Square next week to pay respects to Harem Scarum's show members and the attending residents of North Kill, who all tragically lost their lives. Details will be published in the coming edition. So, oh my God, how many, I mean, huge number of persons people lost their lives in the fire right is that it oh here we go there is something is it a card a tarot card can't believe i'm actually gonna miss all those lumpy loose springs we came here for that we came here for that comment are you serious oh, i've got i've got some issues no, no, wait, 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 wait. Over here, I saw something. Yes, there we go. Aw. This was little Izzy's. I wanna play a game! Oh, that's too creepy. I wanna play a game, keep it. Oh, yeah, hell yeah. Let's get you back, Tizzy. See, we were looking for things that have been left behind, right? So, they've had a weekend where they've all been shits to each other. Um, possibly some teen melodrama. And we're going to be forced to stay another night. Now, it wasn't in somebody's schedule, I suppose. And I can only imagine the very worst is about to happen. Guys, thank you for joining me. 
Abigail, I'm hoping, is going to save the day here. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. I definitely want to play more, and I want to. If you guys want another another episode, let me know. I'm I'm kind of interested. I'm invested now, anyway, and I have literally invested in the game, so I'm going to play it. <laughs> um, I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, leave a like, drop a comment down below. What do you think so far? Ooh, shiny thing. Shiny thing alert. Hold on a second. Tutorial unlocked. Evidence. Evidence. Yes, I understand what evidence is. Oh, here we go. Another cartoon. Sort of lightens the mood a little bit. In fact, the cartoons have been the best thing in it Everyone so far. Everyone likes a scavenger hunt. And at Hackett's Quarry, that's no different. There are secrets in these woods. Fun secrets that, should you uncover them, could help protect you from criminal prosecution. After all, the stories you'll take with you are only stories without the proof to back them up. So it's time to dive into the mystery, take pictures, or find pieces of evidence, and you may just prove your innocence. Or not. <laughs> See what I mean? This is the most entertaining thing so far, apart from when Max got stabbed. Okay, we have some evidence. Now, what do I do with it? Ouch. Let's hope Jacob hasn't seen this. Seen what? I can't even read it. Oh, the truth is out there. An empty vial. An empty vial with an unpleasant odor. Ugh. Ugh. What is that? Is it Dylan's? Dylan's what? <laughs> is it Dylan's? So what does that say? Jacob and Emma. Forever summer. Okay, very, very cool. Very cool. Anyway, sorry, I was signing off, wasn't I? I'll be back very soon with more. I hope you enjoyed it. See you soon. Good night. Oh, and by the way, I've decided. <gasps> shiny thing alert. I couldn't help it. I'm so sorry. Though this is a novelty signpost, it acts as a chilling reminder that Hackett's Quarry really is a long way from anywhere. That's genius. I promise you I am done now. I'm going to stop walking around. Guys, I am probably going to deliberately try to kill everybody in this game. I think it will be more fun. <laughs> Take care, guys. All the best. Good night.